my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph Freinadamitz, a great missionary, a great follower of Christ. Joseph Freinadamitz was born on 15th April 1852 in South Tyrol in Austro-Hungarian Empire. He was baptized on the day he was born and he inherited a great faith from his simple family. In order to become a priest, he entered in the Diocesan Seminary and got ordained in the year 1875. Later, he found that his call was for missions. Thus, he entered into the Society of the Divine Word and joined Saint Arnold Jansen, who was the founder, father of the Society of the Divine. After two years of his ministry in his diocese, he joined Arnold Jansen to be with him as one of his missionaries. After getting the permission from his bishop, he joined Arnold Jansen and became a Divine Word missionary and left for China to preach God's good news. After two years of his learning Chinese language in Hong Kong, he was sent to South Sangtung, the Chinese mainland, to preach God's good news. All throughout his life, he was an ardent follower of Christ by his words and deeds. He was very close with the people, though he had initial struggles. He learned the culture, he understood the people, and he knew the pulse of the Chinese. Because of his great love towards the Chinese, he once wrote, I love the Chinese and I want to be a Chinese in heaven too. He used to visit different communities at different times and always wanted to be with the people, understanding their situations and conditions. There was a sudden outbreak of typhus in which so many people were affected and while visiting them, he too was affected. He died on 28th January 1908 and he wrote, the language of all people understand is the language of love. He was beatified on 19th October 1975 by Pope Paul VI and canonized by Pope John Paul II on 5th October 2003. As we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph Reinhardt, let this saint be an inspiration for each of us in our missionary journey so that we too proclaim God's good news by our lives. Wish you all a very happy feast.